All right, we are out here for morning three. We are about to start. Oh no. Just lost another one. Oh, that's a bummer. That was a fish. We are about to start our troll to Eddie Falls. These two guys haven't seen Eddie, so we'd like to go visit. I'm over a 22 foot flat right here, and I think the trout are congregating. Water's still very cold. 40 degrees is what my sonar is reading, which is insane. Had two hits on that bass. But we're gonna have to start trolling. We've got about five or six miles to paddle. It's gonna be a while till we're at Eddie Falls. I'm not gonna have to paddle much at all. It's the wind at our backs. Four and a half to five miles an hour. What I've come to realize, I think, is that while Knife Lake has a ton of great structure, it's a very hard lake to fish. It runs east-west, so it's almost always windy. And unless you're doing what we're doing, trolling with the wind, basically just ruddering, keeping ourselves going straight, it's really hard to fish. Luckily, we found the fish shallow in 15 to 20 feet of water. So we've utilized the drift sock and the anchor to target them with mixed success. It's tough fishing. It's just going to get colder. Fingers are numb right now. The water temp is 39.8 degrees, so it's gotten colder over here. It was about 40, 41 by camp. So, not a good sign. All right, we've made it all the way around the backside of Thunder Point. So we are just about to shoot into South Arm of Knife, and then we're a mile and a half or two from Eddie Falls, so. That's exciting. A close one. Wait a minute. Oh, we are able to get through here. I see. I see. What's up, chickadee? Boink. Only us ever on a boundary water trip. Whatever, it's helped us thus far. A mile crossing here. Try to utilize the wind to our advantage. I'm gonna cut into it at a quartering headwind. And when it starts to get rough, I'll cut back to the east. Alright, here we go. I point three. Point seven. Jason. 
These are the times you want to be really careful. If I go in here, probably just gonna have to swim with the current and hope to get back to shore as quickly as possible. Oh, a little nowhere. There we go. Get a turn, get a turn. Whoa. Well, it's tiring, but I'm maintaining five miles an hour. 4.7 to 4.9. I am so excited about being on night flight right now. It is angry, it is windy, it's beautiful out. Wispy clouds off in the distance, otherwise blue bird skies. It's just a gorgeous day to be out trolling across Knife Lake. It's not too bad of a landing, a little grass. We are stopped at the campsite right before Eddie Falls, and it is a beaut. Cedars everywhere, perfect for hammocks. Fishing might be tough. It's pretty big open water around here. This is a great campsite, check it out. Perfectly flat, two landings, two great views. Awesome fire grade area. Look at this kitchen. Here we are. The Eddie Falls Portage. I think we're gonna fish it first though. 15 foot slides, this is perfect. Where have we been finding them? 15 foot flats, 42.8 degrees. This is the water we've found yet.
whatever you got to lunker, huh, buddy? What is it? Angry, whatever it is. Did we find them, boys? Trying to keep us safe. Wish I was wearing the helmet cam. You got your boga? Yeah. It's just a wily 26-incher, huh? Oh, nice fish! Eating on you? I look fat. Let me see. That's not a female. No? No. He got cut up by something. Something hit him. They're jostling in there. It's probably only 19 or 20. 17 and a half. 19. I'd say that's a perfect keeper for us. Yep. Yeah, we can clean it. Put... Fun fair. Yeah, well, you're pretty much right below. Casting that rapala, right? Or are you jigging again? Oh, jigging. There you go. It's all you. Sucker minnow. Sucker minnow. Lost it. That was suspended. Darn it. Just got hit. Oh, rotten tomatoes. Nice gator. Found one walleye that fought well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow, they're fat. These gotta be small females that haven't spawned yet. That was awesome. All right, looks like the females are staging to spawn here. I think that was a female. It seemed too chonky to be a male. How in the hell are those walleyes so healthy coming out of winter? This looks like a better fish, Rob. Oh, it is! Nice walleye. 20? Big fish below us. 
Nice fish, Rob. Big freaking walleye. Oh! Oh, it's under. It's under. There you go. Nice fish. Rob, 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 Rob is a trout slayer. <laughs> Hold on. Live it from the mouth. Mouth it. Or at least just cradle it by the one by the belly. Nice. Plenty of pictures. Awesome. Swam away happy. Big walleye. Eric, you dirty bird. Look at that thing. Come on. Eric. That's a big walleye. Hold it up so those guys can see. That's 22. Bigger than that. 23. got on there, Robbie Rob? Fish. Nice walleye. Another 18. 17, 18 incher. Nice fish. Your minnow's still there. He's right in the top of the mouth. Perfection. Hold it up, Rob. Just perfect eater walleye, one after another. Yeah, that's at least 18. That's a chunk. Well done, Rob. Precarious. Hey, Rob, I'm gonna take this from you, if you don't mind, and drop it right in the water. Jig this side. Sorry, bud. I'm way out there. Either gotta go straight down or back that way. Until I'm done, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Looks like another good one. Well, where Rob was cast into, nope, bigger. Where Rob was cast into is 12 feet. Back to 16 where we are. Nice fish, Rob. I got my tape ready if you want to measure this one. About the same? Rob with another big walleye. Nice! Probably 19 and a half with a pinch tail. It has a lot of weight. What are you? Oh, here we go. What is this? There's no way. If this is a walleye, it's the biggest walleye I've ever seen or caught. Oh, it's gonna be a pike. It's gonna be a pike. It's just cold water. Oh my god. Can you guys see it? Double up. Eric! It might be a trout. I don't. How could it be a walleye? Holy What is that? I don't know. Whitefish? 
<laughs> I would bet my life it's not a white fish. Is it a marlin? It's a marlin. It's a marlin. I don't remember what I was doing. I think it was on the bottom. You you're guys. A, you're a fish in <sighs> yes, I was. Which is why when I set the hook, I thought it was. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to get a look at it. Oh, that's a big. I think it's a big. I thought I saw the spot inside. It's bigger. Maybe a frog. I don't know. It's coming up. It's wrapped. Is it wrapped? Oh, it's a huge pike. Holy cattails. I don't think that's going to fit in that area. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been a 34 inch walleye? Gall darn it. This is a big pike. How are we gonna measure this? Rob, are you gonna help me? Here you go. How was it cut the line yet? Yeah, especially when it got wrapped up and surfaced. Yeah. Must be right in the corner of the mouth and oh my gosh. Have you seen this thing, you guys? gone. Oh. That would have been 40. That was over 40, yeah. yeah. Somewhere between 39 and 41 probably. Miss Fisher. It's a very sharp hook. I don't I don't get I don't know how. how it got off. I thought it cut it. Yeah. That wow. was huge, you guys. Madness. My arm hurts. That was powerful. That was fun. Well, that's a bummer. There's a rainbow over here, you guys. Oops.
devastating. My last morning in the Boundary Waters. I'm sure all of you know this feeling all too well. Bittersweet. It's over. But it was amazing. We had a blast on Knife Lake. As always, we didn't catch as many fish as we'd hoped. But we still had a lot of fun. Exploring Thunder Point, Eddie Falls, and fishing for cold water lake trout. Caught the most fish between 12 and 15 feet of water. Caught the most fish on jigging a minnow, big sucker minnow. Nothing complicated. Very surprised we haven't caught a single fish trolling. It was windy the whole time, other than today, of course, the day we leave. It was windy. It was tough to fish, tough to contend with the conditions. So we spent a lot of time at camp, and I don't regret it. A lot of campfire time, a lot of bro time. It's very relaxing and fun. Now we're just going to make our way back to our tow at 2 p.m. It's 9.20 right now. We're doing just fine, especially considering there's not a lick of wind on Knife Lake. This is insane. We're just pulling up around Thunder Point. The only theme of this trip really is find warm water. We camped in an area that was on the north side of structure. Didn't get a whole lot of sunlight. Water was very cold and we struggled. But when we fished by Eddie Falls, where there was warm water coming in, we did really well. Sand by to Thunder Point. No wind whatsoever. Beautiful. 